Thank you, Stu. What started as a routine traffic stop ended with officers performing CPR on a Studio City woman. What followed is the most complete account of a cardiac arrest following the use of a taser. But as CBS 2's Randy Page shows us, it's not the first time something like this was caught on tape. June 4th, just after midnight, Haskell Avenue near the 101 off-ramp. This video is captured by a camera mounted on a California highway patrol car. Officers stopped to check on the welfare of the driver, 50-year-old Angela Jones from Studio City. How much did you drink tonight? Nothing. Nothing? What about medication or drugs? Suspecting she might be under the influence of drugs, the CHP officers conduct a field sobriety test and they question Jones for the next 15 minutes. Then she refused to let the officers look through her purse. I just don't feel like I want you to take my purse from me. Watch what happened next. Put the purse down. Put the purse down. According to the arrest report, the CHP officer hit the trigger on his taser model X26 three times, sending three separate jolts into Jones' chest. Do not move. Uh, do not move. Ah! Then a few moments later, she is silent. Ma'am, ma'am, come on, try and wake up. They pulled her out of the car placed her on the sidewalk and realized she wasn't breathing. Subject is unresponsive. One officer began performing CPR and Angela Jones came back to life. She is extremely lucky to be alive. Heart surgeon Dr. Kathy Magliato is president of the American Heart Association for Greater Los Angeles. I think it's really critically important that law officers understand that this taser is a weapon and it can kill people. It's awfully hard, Randy, to exonerate the taser when you see a woman who clearly was fine up until the point she was tasered and then becomes unconscious, loses her pulse, and then is in sudden cardiac death. Take the pulse down there. The camera rolls continuously for 40 minutes, and it is likely the most complete record of a cardiac arrest following the use of a taser electronic control device. Most complete, but not the first time an event like this was caught on tape. It was March of 2008, Charlotte, North Carolina. Store security cameras captured 17-year-old Daryl Turner as a police officer deployed a Taser Model X26 following an argument with the store manager. The teenager collapsed just off camera and died. Pasadena attorney John Burton represented the Turner family in a civil trial that resulted in a jury award of $10 million. He is now preparing a lawsuit on behalf of Angela Jones. This device, the Taser as it's called, is much more dangerous than the company uh, indicates and that police believe. And especially when it's shot in the chest, the electric current can take over the heart rhythm and cause cardiac arrest. Taser International disputes this claim on their website, saying there is no reliable published data that proves Taser ECDs negatively affect the heart. Taser refers to medical studies that conclude its devices do not harm the heart. The preferred target zones can be seen highlighted in blue in this graphic. But in 2009, the company changed its targeting guidelines. This company video that's posted online instructs its users to avoid strikes to the chest. Minimizing the controversy of whether ECDs do or do not affect the human heart. The company which makes this device would say there's no evidence that it causes any problems with the heart. This is all about attorneys who want to make a lot of money in lawsuits, you would say. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. There, the, we have an article right here from Circulation, which comes out of one of the most prestigious cardiovascular journals in the country that's put out by the American Heart Association. And this article discusses eight cases, eight cases where people were tasered, went into this ventricular fibrillation rhythm, seven of which died. So how can you tell me that using a taser is completely benign, especially when we have it on videotape? Uh, she now has many memory deficits and cognitive issues that she's struggling with. Angela Jones criminal attorney Maria Cavaluzzi would only let her client speak briefly due to the pending criminal charges, but Jones spoke just long enough to describe what little she remembers from that June night. Do you remember the, the, what it felt like when that taser hit? I, I can I, remember fear. Okay. Right. 
Her attorneys say toxicology reports show there were no illegal drugs or alcohol in Jones' system that night. She's facing criminal misdemeanor charges for resisting arrest and an infraction for possession of less than one ounce of marijuana. In Van Nuys, Randy Page, CBS2 News. The CHP wouldn't comment on camera since the case is still pending, but in a written statement did say the use of the taser in this incident appears to be within CHP policy. Taser International issued a statement in part saying, we are concerned about this incident and eagerly await more information. They go on to say more than 98,000 people have been saved from potential death or serious injury using taser devices. Taser's full statement is on our website. Now, despite Taser International's targeting guidelines, we've learned use of force directives for the CHP, LAPD, and LA County Sheriff's Department do not instruct officers to avoid direct strikes to the chest.